everyone, today I'm going to be telling you about all the books I plan on reading in September. I have a reasonable amount to read in terms of size of books, so without further ado, let's get started and let's hope I get them all read. So the first book I'm going to talk about was actually on my August TBR and I never got it read, but I did read a lot of stuff in August. I will leave my wrap up for August in the description below for you if you want to go check that out. And this book is Eclipse by Stephanie Mayer. Now this is the third book in the Twilight series for anybody that has been living under a rock the last few years. It's about vampires and werewolves and Bella who wants to be a vampire but her best friend is a werewolf but her boyfriend's a vampire. Yes, yeah, it's... <laughs> that was a rubbish description. It's paranormal that kind of thing and to be honest yes okay it's not the best written thing but I appreciate it for what it is and it got a lot of people reading so that is why I'm giving it a reread. <laughs> the second book is Will Grayson Will Grayson and this is by David Levithan and John Green and this is about two boys called Will Grayson who end up crossing paths and somehow their paths end up going in very unexpected directions I'm not sure how those two link but I don't know much else. I kind of want to go into it like that as well. I don't really want to find out too much about it. But yeah, I'm excited to read this one. It is possibly the only John Green book I have now not read. I have read An Abundance of Catherine's, Fountain of Stars, Looking for Alaska, which is my favourite one, and Paper Towns. And then I think he might have done, has he done some Christmas things as well? Possibly. I've not read his Christmas things, but I'll probably end up reading them this year as well. Who knows? But yeah, I'm excited to get into this and I will let you know more about it in my wrap up if I get it read this month. And the third book I have on my list is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I've not actually hauled this book yet, but I don't have a big enough kind of amount to do a haul yet, so I'm just kind of hanging on to it. Now, the film to this comes out at the end of September in the UK. I don't know where it is elsewhere, like when it's coming out elsewhere, but in the UK it is the end of September. I am really excited for this. I've heard nothing but amazing things, so I do have quite high expectations with this book. I love the sound of the plot. It's about a guy called Jacob, who is 16. I think he's been in some kind of family tragedy, and he ends up on a remote island in Wales somewhere, I think it is, and he finds an abandoned orphanage, or like the ruins from an orphanage, and this is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And he finds out a lot of things while he's there and possibly that these children are somehow still alive. Sounds really intriguing, really creepy, perfect for this kind of time of year I think. Probably more so in October but I needed to get it read before the film comes out because I really want to go see the film. So I definitely want to get this read this month. This is one of the priority reads. I also like how there's images throughout this so it's not just text. There's a lot of like creepy images to do with the book as well. It's different, it's very different. There's not usually that kind of thing in a book. So yeah, really excited. Definitely want to get this read this month and I will let you know what I think at the end of the month. And the final book I have on my list that I've planned to read this month is The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson. This is about two boys, one called David who actually wants to be a girl and one called Leo who just wants to be invisible. He doesn't want to know anybody or anything like that. And they go to school together and in school, I think it is, David gets into a fight and Leo decides to stick up for David and because of this, these two build this really unlikely friendship and it's about their friendship and how they're dealing with their problems at they're facing at the minute. I don't know much else, sounds really good. I've not read anything like this before, I don't think, so I'm really excited to get into this and just, it's nice to know there is the transgender element in this as well. I just think that's really nice that books are bringing the LGBTQ community into it a lot more because I don't think there's enough books that cover that community at all. So yeah, really excited to read it and I will let you know if I get this read at the end of the month what I think of it. So there are all the books I have planned so now it is time for me to tell you what I will be rereading this month. So let me see what I get out of the reread jar. I have a funny feeling I'm gonna get another series this month because I think I've got a few series still left in here and there's not many left in the actual cup so I think I'm probably gonna end up getting a series but we will see. Right I've got a piece of paper here and we will see. Ah, 
it is a series, but it is a really good series, and I'm really excited. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I don't know whether you can see that, but it's the Harry Potter series! Yay! I'm so excited! I read Cursed Child last month and I did really enjoy it. I had some issues with it, like a lot of people did, but I did really enjoy it for what it is. So it's perfect that I've got the Harry Potter series now and I'm going to start rereading it! Oh, I'm so excited! So I will try to get the Philosopher's Stone read this month and possibly the Chamber of Secrets actually because those two books are really small. They do obviously get bigger as the series goes on but I might try and get Chamber of Secrets read this month as well. We'll just see what happens but I am so excited that I've got the Harry Potter series. I cannot wait. I might actually start it tonight. I'm tempted to start it tonight. <laughs> So that is it for my September TBR. I hope you have an amazing September reader month. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye!